Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix Sweet, and I try and this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you my full workflow for color grading and retouching images using Photoshop. And this is going to be an in depth tutorial whereby I'm going to be using Capture One to do the color grading and processing the raw file for this image and also exporting it into Photoshop to do the skin retouching and final adjustments to it. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, you can see I most of the times use Capture One to process my raw files. And you can see a quick before and after if I told them to press as a before and after slider. You can see as a before and that's the after. So I'll show you my workflow and how I color grade. So I'm just going to come and reset this. Then in Capture and the very first thing I tend to do is first of all correcting the light and contrast issues with the image. So what I tend to do, I take the highlights down and I do the same for my whites to a given distance. Then I open up my shadows. A little bit that's a little bit too much so at around 18 that is okay then i add contrast to the image then finally i come to the levels and i simply add levels or contrast to the image so after i've done all this the next thing i tend to do is first of all you can see that in caption we have layers then if i told you want your interface to look like mine you can come to window and come to workspace then you come to migration so if at all you're missing any adjustment in your capture and simply right click on the adjustment so as add and come add tool and add whichever tool that you're missing in your capture one so like i said in capture we also have layers so the basic adjustments or light and contrast issues were corrected on the background layer itself then i'm going to come and right click on the new layer icon and create a new field adjustment layer by creating this it means that every adjustment i'm going to make on the image is going to be affecting the overall image in this case so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come down to where it says color editor and you can say we have basic advanced and skin tone and for this case i'm just going to go straight to the skin tone because i want even now the skin tone of the model and after doing that i'm just going to come and get the color picker tool and with this you can now zoom in by using ctrl or command plus on the keyboard and you look for an area of the skin that you want the rest of the skin to look like so i'm just going to click to sample or choose a sample so left click and that is going to choose colors that fall within that sampled area you can see that we have yellows oranges reds, and some magentas then when you come down here you can see that you can turn on the view select a color range option and it's going to automatically desaturate the rest of the colors that don't fall within the selected color range of the skin tone so i'm just going to turn this off so you know that you unify or get uniform skin tones for your image just come to uniformity and simply left click and drag up the uniformity slider and as you're doing that you can notice that the skin is looking a little bit more on the event side but this is as well affecting the hair and the lipstick of a model so i'm also going to take up the saturation a little bit how the skin can look a little bit even but as you're doing this it has also made the top of the model look a little bit changed in color so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come to this new field adjustment layer and simply right click on it and come to clear mask and when you do that it's going to eliminate the color grading from the overall image then i'm going to come to get a brush right here and with the brush tool selected you can press m on the keyboard and that is going to act activate the mask and as you're painting you can see that in real time so just paint on only the skin so that you don't affect the other areas like as outfit then if at all you want to reveal back the makeup of uh, the model i'm just going to be showing you how to do that so i'm basically trying to paint on areas that have skin so after i have done this you can see if at all i press m on the keyboard you can see it has only affected the skin tone of the model then if at all you want to reveal back the original makeup or lipstick, you can zoom in. And with the eraser tool selected, you can erase or uh, rub away the color grading from maybe the lips if at all. You didn't want to change or alter the original makeup or even the eyeshadow in this case. You can just erase that. So if at all you click M, you can see it has erased it from the lips and also the eyeshadow. So you can even erase it from uh, this nice cheekbone. So after doing that, you can press M once again. And you can see that you have now color graded the image. And the next thing is going to be 
editing it within Photoshop. So before you can do that, let's first of all get back the blues to pop in the sky. So I'm just going to create another new field adjustment layer right here. And with that done, I'm just going to come to my basic adjustments and target the blue color. So just going to select the blues and simply pump up the saturation of the blues and take down the lightness just like that to make the blues pop a little bit more. So let's look at a quick before and after for the color grading. So this is the image before, after, before, after. So the next thing is going to be editing or retouching the image within Photoshop. So in order to do that, simply right click on the image. So you can get your pointer tool and right click on the image. Or you can as well come to image and you come to edit with and come to Photoshop 2020. So with this, I prefer a T format and a 16-bit image right here, which is uncompressed and the ICC profile is Adobe RGB 98 and the resolution is 300 pixels per inch. And I simply left click on edit variance and it is going to open into Photoshop for us to do our skin retouching. So I'll be forwarding this so that we can go straight into Photoshop to do our skin retouching on this very image. Hello, we are now in Photoshop and the first thing I tend to do when it comes to retouching images is first of all cropping them. So I'll get the crop tool and simply crop the image in a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10 because Usually I post on Instagram and I want the image to fill up the whole screen when I post on Instagram. And after that, I'm just going to simply click on OK and we're going to crop the image. So after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do is going to be about the skin retouching. So usually I'm going to be using actions to fasten or speed up the tutorial because I don't want this to be a pretty long and boring tutorial for most of you that find it boring. So I'm just going to come right here to my actions and I'm going to come and I play my 16-bit frequency separation action. You can see that I have a 16-bit image. So I'm just going to click and play that action. And this is a point that is when you determine the overall texture as that one to remain with in your final retouch image. So around, I'm going to be using a radius of 6 because that is when the, de the details start to disappear from the image. And I'm just going to click on OK. And this action is going to run and create for me those layers for frequency separation. So if at all you're interested in these actions, you can as well purchase them and support the channel for the content by checking the links in the description of this video. So with frequency separation, I'm just going to come and delete the black and white layer. But if at all you prefer to use it to retouch as a whole player, you can use it. So what I tend to do first of all is coming and getting the mixer brush tool. Right click on the brushes and get the mixer brush tool. So if at all you're using an older version of Photoshop, you may find your mixer brush tool down here. So set it up the right way the hardness at zero make sure it is clean and make sure this option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke is selected then also make sure the weight is nine the load of 75 the miss at 90 and the flow of 100 percent make sure sample orders is not checked so after doing this you are going to come and hide the high frequency layer and simply select the low frequency layer and in order to retract the image using the mr brush tool you are going to slightly zoom in we don't have to zoom all the way in slightly zoom in and simply start blending and mixing the colors until when you have a uniform transition within the skin so i'm just going to come so you have to basically mix colors that are looking alike and you don't have to use a big size of a mixer brush tool so make sure it is reasonable and you can keep on changing the sizes of the mixer brush tool using your bracket keys on the keyboard the open and close bracket keys on the keyboard so you have to mix colors that are looking alike within the image just like that and blend and mix these colors so that they can have a nice and smooth transition among them so you can see it is affecting the image in real time and we are really having even skin tone transitions so that is the advantage of using our mixer brush tool to even out or blend the transitions within the skin so you have to come and make sure to work on every area that has skin so that every area looks even at the end of the retouching process so when you're done using the mixer brush tool you can come back and turn on the texture layer and you can see a quick before and after for the image so next thing is going to be fine-tuning the retouched image by using the lasso tool so just come and get the lasso tool and make sure new selection mode is selected and the feathering is 22 pixels. So we are now going to zoom all the way in. 
while using the lasso tool and simply make a selection on the skin area just like this and after doing this we're just going to come to filter blur and come to gaussian blur right there so remember this is the that we had for african separation so usually you have to take this up up to a point when you're having a nice skin texture for your image but the technique that i can share is just multiply the radius that you had initially by three so whichever radius that you may have used for your image just multiply that by three so six by three is 18 and i'm just going to type in 18 right there and simply click ok so you have to make these shapes the way the face is shaped or the way the face is moving you can see i'm following that direction of the face right click and come to gush and blend when you feel like it's too much you can right click on the selection and come to fade gush and blend reduce on the effect in that area so that is how to use the lasso tool and to deselect you just click away from uh, the selection and it's going to automatically deselect that area so you can see when it comes to the nose area i'm only selecting the areas according to how light is falling on them and usually i don't apply this onto the brightest area of the nose so after doing this we have now fine-tuned the image so anything is going to be removing the blemishes so select the high frequency line and get the clone stamp tool and you can now zoom all the way in and after zooming in remove the blemishes or clean up the skin so how this works you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and left click to copy an area that is close to the blemish and release the alternate and simply left click over the blemish to remove it so that is how to use the clone stamp tool so we have selected the texture layer and make sure sample is on current layer so i'm just going to be removing or cleaning up the blemishes and you can see that the image looks great in this case so let's just get rid of these small blemishes and within a few seconds i'll be done cleaning up or removing blemishes from uh, our beautiful model's skin so right now we are done removing the blemishes and you can see the before and after for retouching of Im the image so let's do a little bit of eye whitening to this image so just come to the adjustments and come to your hue and saturation and take the saturation all the way down to around negative 85 and with the white line mask selected simply press ctrl or command i on the keyboard and that is going to hide the effect that was affecting the overall image come under the brushes right click and get your brush tool and make sure opacity and the flow is 100 percent and make sure the hardness is at 0%. Make sure you have black and red by clicking on these two small boxes. Or you can use or switch between black and red by using X on the keyboard. And make sure white is on top. And with that, remember in Photoshop, white is going to reveal what was hidden behind this black mask. So meaning the brush is white. And simply left click and paint over the eye area. And that is going to whiten the eyes in this case. So this is a more simple and effective way to do your eye and teeth whitening so you can zoom out and when you feel like the effect is too much you can come the opacity and simply reduce on the opacity for your eye and teeth whitening so the next thing that we are going to do is coming and doing some tiny adjustments so i'm just going to come to selective color and come and target the blacks and simply darken the image to add some tiny bit of contrast so we are now done retouching the image and anything is going to be saving the image so it doesn't change in color when we post it on social media so the best way to do that is simply come into file export and come into export as so when you come to export as it's going to open up the export as window and with this window you can simply feed in these settings so make sure the format is jpeg and the quality is 100 percent because you want the best out of the image and make sure you select the sample to by cubic sharper because you want photoshop to sharpen the image for us after we have been able to save it and make sure the color space is saved to convert srgb and also embed the color profile so with this you have embedded every color grid that you integrated within the image and after the preview is done loading in this very window you can just come and click on export and you choose where you want to save the image so basically this is how to retouch images from the very start and also how to color grade them from the very start to the very end and if i told you i found the video helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you i've been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating